Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy George and today my makeup is already done. So typically we're here talking makeup, specifically Saint makeup, but today I'm gonna to share another beauty product that I love with you guys and it is Color Street Nails. Can you guys see? They're so fun. I have way too many. I've been using it for over five years and today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about why? Because there's a very specific reason why I keep coming back to this specific nail product. And then I'll show you how to apply, tell you a little bit about what they have to offer, and share my best tips and tricks so that you can get longevity from your nail application. So if you're interested in learning more, stick around and check out today's video. As always, thanks for being here. So let's jump right in. So you guys, these are Color Street nail polish stickers. So these are 100% real nail polish and they come off with real nail polish remover. And that my friends is the key for me. So I have super sensitive nails. I love getting a gel manicure as much as the next girl. Um, I don't love the amount of time that it takes and like the upkeep that's required in order to do it. Um, I also love several press on nails. I think there are so many lovely options on the market, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Every time I try something else on my nails, over time, the middle of my nails get so sensitive and so worn down that I go back to this. Because while when I take the gel off, when I have to peel the press on nails off, whatever it is, I don't care how easy somebody says it is, I don't care how soft and sweet my nail tech is, over time it wears down the barrier of my nails and they are so sensitive. Like so sensitive that they actually like hurt to touch. So when I found these guys, that's not even what I was looking, that's like not even the problem that I was looking to solve. I found these when I had newborn children at home and I did not feel like I wanted to make the time to go and get my nails done, but I had been primarily using nail polish. And you know, when it comes to nail polish, you have to give it dry time. Like it has to dry or you're gonna get like the wrinkles in it, it's gonna peel, it's gonna chip, it's gonna do all of the things. So that's when one of my girlfriends introduced me to Color Street and I was hesitant. I, I didn't totally get it. I'm like, okay, real nail polish stickers. Tell me more about that. So they come in a pack of 16. There's two strips. They look just like this and they're double ended. So literally all you do is fit them to your nails. So you decide like, okay, which ones are going to fit my nails? and you use your thumbs as tools. So like, okay, let's say that this guy is a little bit too wide once you press it on. Like you use your thumbnail as the nail to trim. You don't have to cut them down. They literally are so easy to work with. And because they are truly real nail polish, so they're dried, I think they're 95% dried in the time of the packaging. And since they are dried, they do not have dry time. Like you can instantly go if that's what you need to do. I will say I have a little trick because I think I get better wear when I put a top coat on them, but this is base coat, color coat, and top coat in one, and you can absolutely use it that way if you like. You just have to see um, how your nails do like with longevity, but my nails are just not healthy. Like I take biotine, I put different products on them, and my nails are very brittle. So with that being said, I've like tweaked my application a little bit over the years to get the best wear time that I can. And for me, I'm typically getting seven to 10 days. And I will share, in my opinion, which strips hold up better than others, because I definitely think that there are some strips that are gonna give you like seven days with no problem, and other ones that you have to be a little more careful with how you apply. But I'm telling you, if you have sensitivity to your nails, you really might love this product because it comes off with regular nail polish remover. So we're kind of gonna start in reverse today because I have my nails done. So literally I'm gonna take it off and you guys can see, this is just Target's um, nail polish remover dip it. I do use the one with acetone, which I know doesn't help my nails. You don't have to tell me. Um, but I like that it's even faster. <laughs> So that's what I do and maybe that's part of the reason that my nails don't stay healthy but like you open this up and it has little like bristles in there the nail polish uh, remover is already in there and you can literally just rub your fingernail up and down and these are my color street nails that I have on right now and I sit and watch TV at night 
and I can remove the nail polish from my nails. I should have grabbed a little towel, but that's it. Like it's gone with regular nail polish remover. There are definitely, let me see if I got a towel here. There are definitely non-acetone products that you can use. I just choose one with acetone because it's even faster. But look at that, just from using that in all of 30 seconds, like my nail is gone and I just do the rest with the same. And then I go on to like buffing and cutting down my nails if I want because I don't like long nails either. Um, I'm not good at working with long nails. They seem to get in the way. I'm always like pulling tins out of my palette with my fingernails. So I just like to keep them short and trim, but I do like to keep something on my nails and I don't want it to be hard. For me, it solved a problem. The problem was when I first got them, I didn't have a lot of time. I wanted to be able to do something quick from home. I really didn't honestly want to go out and I still don't want to go out and get my nails done. So I could do this at home with young kids and then I found out that not only does it not hurt my nails, but it's one of the only things that I can put on my nails that when I take them off and they've grown, they've actually grown back in like harder and more stable. So I still have some issues with like chipping, like my nails peel a little bit at the tip still, but overall I could grow my nails like way longer than this if I want to because of the protective coat that I have on from the nail strips. It literally works like a gem. I'm just gonna quickly remove my nail polish and I'll be right back. Step one is done. I have removed all of my previous color street and I'm telling you that is, like that's how easy it is. Take off your nail polish, wash your hands with soap and water, make sure you get rid of any of the residue and then you do want to buff and file your nails like you normally would if you were giving yourself an at-home manicure. I'm just not as particular as I would be if I was using like a regular nail polish. So I make sure that I get rid of like any of the harsh edges that I might have. And then I buff the surface to make sure that it's as flat as possible. And I will push down on my cuticles just so that I have like as much nail space to work with. And because I don't wanna put my sticker on top of the cuticle, I wanna lay it flat on the base of my actual nail. Here's probably where I differ than like the traditional like color street application. So before I'm going to apply my strips, remember I said they're a base coat, nail polish and top coat in one. I do put a base coat down and I think I need to check, but I think color street has their own straight strengthener now. I haven't even tried it but my love is with nail teaks. I use this even when I'm not putting anything else on my nails as a clear coat. Um, I do think that it definitely has helped with the overall strength of my nails, but it's a little bit thicker. So if my nail is imperfect underneath, it kind of like bridges that gap, right? So my nail polish sticker is gonna sit like still flat on my nails and this dries super quick because while Color Street, you don't have to use any any base or any top coat, you can go like purely just the strip. I find that I can get seven to 10 days when I put this underneath and as a top coat because it dries so quick and it's clear. So like even if I ding it, you don't really see, I don't mind. If I can get better wear time by doing this step and like the finish overall even more, then that's what I'm gonna do. Our prep work is done. So I have my clear nail teaks on top. I did just use like just a regular, like pick this up from Target that has what, the like seven or eight different options, buff nail, shine nail. So I just file and make sure to buff with this. And that's pretty much it. Then I put my nail teaks on. I just have a traditional like um, cuticle pusher. You guys can see I'm not, I'm not a nail tech by trade here. I don't even know the lingo. But after you do this, so these probably, I gave them like 10 minutes to dry. Then the hard part is picking your nail type. So my favorites are gonna be the solids. I just love the look of solids. Let me find some good ones for you here. But I definitely recommend that you put the base coat down with a solid. So, I mean, there are so many like beautiful options, reds, greens, this is like that grayish. They have multiple blues. I mean, different nudes, mauve, but I love the solids for sure. That's my favorite, though not the easiest to work with. You need to do the base coat and the top coat if you wanna get seven to 10 days from a solid. 
Um, it's still better than the one day that you get when you paint your nails with nail polish. Like I like to describe Color Street as that in between. Like if you're obsessed with the way that your nails look, if like perfect nails are what you want, this is probably not the product for you. If you like simple and easy things that don't damage your nails that you can do from home that are super cost effective, that are better than nail polish, this is for you. Okay, so what else? Then they have different glitters. So this is like an ombre glitter. Can you see that goes from like blue to black? And glitters are the ones that are going to last on your nails the longest. Like I can get two weeks from a glitter. Then they have foiled ones and these ones are pretty, but I will say foiled ones and ones with design, like these were from Christmas that I never used. Um, these ones, these are tricky. These still chip on me sometimes. And then they have these overlays. So an overlay would be like, so they have ones that are like clear with a black or this is actually clear, but it just has, can you see that glitter? Like little speckles of glitter. So you could put this over a solid. So essentially you'd put a solid on, you put this one on and you're going to get really good wear time. Um, if you like something like that, they have these. So this is actually clear. So you would put this at the base of your nail, like right here. So whatever color you had underneath would show through and then you would get like a golden glitter, like at the tip. And they have those in rose gold. They have those in silver. You'll get really good wear time with those too. Here's another overlay. This one is just little speckles of silver that you can see on the strip. This is really pretty, a little fancier of a nail. And then like this one is pink, but has, can you see the little flecks of glitter in it there? Um, so like a baby pink with that. And then they even have a clear. So if you just like clear nails, this is great. Or you can wear this over them as a second strip that would act as a top coat. They even have petites. So for you ladies that either have really um, small nail beds or for younger girls, the petites are super cute and they have the French manicures. This one has like the side. So it would be like the French manicure that is like on an angle at the top. So this one's cool. And then they even have designs. Like if you like leopard, they're always changing them. So they change them seasonally. They have new releases all the time. They have foundation strips for um, different causes that they do every month. They really have like endless opportunities. They even have pedicure strips. So the pedicure strips are not double-sided. These ones are thicker to fit a toenail, but these would be like single use. You're probably only gonna get one pedicure out of these where you could get two uses, like two full sets of nails or an, um, a manicure and a pedicure out of this one. And I'll show you, like they don't recommend getting multiple uses out of them because they are real nail polish. It's kind of the same concept as paint. Like once you open it, it's gonna start to dry out. So. I'll show you how I put mine back in and I use mine on back-to-back -back weeks and get multiple uses. So like two sets of nails out of one pack as long as I'm not waiting too long in between wears. So um, I don't know, I think it's a really good kind of bang for your buck. Now it's time to do some nails. So I just went with this soft pink. This is a solid. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So it has a little tear off on the back. You're gonna open it. And so usually I do this on the armrest of my couch. It's like my hand is down and I put them on. So we're gonna see how this goes. Kind of just winging it. I don't even have a table. I have a, maybe a little, little ledge in front of me. So anyways, you open it up and it's got your description as to what you do below, but I'll walk you through. And then it's folded up and inside you have your nail file. So it's the Color Street nail file. You have a nail prep pad and then your actual strips. And they come inside here. So you can follow along the directions on the bottom, but basically here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your nail prep pad, use it on your full nail and underneath your nail. Essentially, you just wanna get rid of the oils that are on your fingernail and on the tip of your finger itself so that it adheres the best. And when I'm putting on like my nail teaks, I do put it on the tip of the nail because your strip actually kind of like kind of wraps around the tip of your nail. So I like to make sure I don't have any jagged edges there. I buff it down and then I put the nail teaks there. Okay, done, we'll save that. You could do it again at the end if you like. And let them air dry for a second. Then you're gonna grab your strips. 
And I like to take a pair of scissors. I think there's a little edge here, but because I, I'm gonna reuse this package and I wanna keep it close here. So I take a little pair of scissors, get rid of this. And in your package, you have two sets of nail strips. You have 16 double-sided dry nail strips. These are dry, I can touch them. They have a little top coat on them there, but I'm gonna set one aside and I'm just gonna go right ahead and slide one back in here because this one I'm gonna save for next week. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm not gonna seal it because I'm gonna have some extras from this pack. And now if you're new, what you wanna do is determine which of these are gonna fit on your nails. So like for me, let's see if we can if we can do this here. Like this is gonna be my big nail. And then this one's too small for me, but this is gonna go on this one. And they're double-sided, so you can see it has like a small circular end there. This one doesn't fit me as well as this one. So I'm gonna put this here. So I'm just going to kind of tear them off because I know which ones I use, but you just wanna size up your nails accordingly. Okay, so I have my five nails in front of me that I'm gonna work with. And here is tip one, start with your pinkies. The reason you wanna start with your pinkies is because you're gonna use your thumbs as tools to like cut the edge down. So work from the outside all the way in, leaving these guys for literally the very end. So you're gonna take your strip and you're gonna see it has this little purple tab here. So you take the tab off and now this is still dry, it's dry nail polish. And then you're gonna pull between the silver and the white and you're gonna pull off the nail strip. Now, you wanna put your thumb where you see that little divot there and just gently pull this part off. And now my finger is on the sticky part, so you have to be careful not to like overly stretch it out. So I'm gonna pull this off, and now all I'm gonna do is put it on, okay, so I have to do it down here, I can't see that high, but I'm gonna put it on the base of my nail. Okay, so it's on the base of my nail there. And now I'm just going to press it down and like around the side. So I'm literally just pressing this on around the nail on both sides. And so that I can use both sides, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press underneath with my finger, with my thumbnail, like I said, you're gonna use this as a tool. And I have just like put it around the top part of the nail. Press this down on the sides and then we'll file the tip. But as you can see, like, did a pretty good job. There we go. I have to like file this corner. There's a little bit of excess there, but it's fully covered. Dry nail polish. Go to the other side. All right, so we have that on. All I did was bring it down to the base. I'm gonna put it in the middle of the nail. You can, you can, if you're super careful, pull them up if you make a mistake. You just wanna make sure that you don't like overly stretch it. So we got it around to the side. Now I'm gonna, since I don't need this part, I'm literally just gonna like scrunch this under <laughs> and I'm gonna use my thumb to cut this down. And there we go. So like on this side, I have a little bit of excess cause it's just the nails a little bit bigger than I need it to be. I'm just using my thumb right next to my nail and pulling off that extra. Grab the Color Street nail file if you like. I have this one, I have no idea where it's from, but it's smaller and I like it because it kind of fits in there, but you want to file down on the top of the nail. So try and avoid filing side to side. The only place I'm gonna work this in is on the corner where the nail is, where the nail is, on the corner of my nail. And all that's gonna do is help adhere it, but it's gonna file and press it down. And then I'm gonna take my thumb and if there's any like excess, like you see how there was like a little bit of excess on the tip there. Now we're good to go. Like that's it. Seriously, so simple. This guy. So I'm right-handed. So with this one, I like file my file. <laughs> yeah, use this on the corner, remember to don't go side to side, like press down to keep it from like tearing at the tip. And this one probably is even a better example of 
when you get enough over like over the top of it you'll have this little bit of like extra that comes off and you're done so i'm gonna go do the rest I've done all of the nails except my thumbs. So I'm gonna show you. Let me line this up here, which side? Okay, line this up. And now on this thumb, still have this one without product on it. So I'm still gonna use this thumb as my tool for like cutting underneath that nail, push it down, I'm gonna kind of wrap it around, but on this side, I don't want to use this nail. So while this is dry nail polish, okay, so I'm pressing it down and around the nail. While this is dry nail polish, like it's dry, I still give it time to set. So like the best time to do your nails is right before you go to bed. So do them, put your top coat on, go to bed, let them sit. Um, they do harden a bit, they're, they're not hard, but the nail polish, so it's 95% dry, it dries and adheres that extra 5% and it will help with longevity for sure. If I take this nail and I cut this with it, there's a chance because it's not totally dried yet that I'll run the risk of like smudging down the tip and I don't wanna do that. So I need to get rid of this on the backside. So I'm just gonna take my cuticle pusher and I'm gonna run it underneath and then use that. Can you see? Probably can't even see what I'm doing. Use that to remove this last part right here. Then I'm gonna go back in and just file down these two. And remember, we're filing down, not side to side. That's it. That's my nails. So easy peasy, like I said, they are dry, but give them a little bit of time. I am gonna put my top coat um, over top. It's just my preference to make sure that these bad boys are going to last at least a week. Um, like I said, the solids for me with this process are like seven to 10 days. Glitters are like up to two weeks and the other ones fall somewhere in between. So here's what you do now. Take your leftovers, if you have any, and put them back in the plastic. And then like what your goal is, is to seal this when you get the air out. So I just literally run my fingers on it and you can either run a straight iron across the top or you can do what I do and take a piece of tape. So I'm literally just gonna push the air out as best as I can. I'm gonna put this over top and close them back up. And now I will use the remainder of these next week. If you guys are interested in checking out the Color Street website and seeing all of the different designs and the different products. They even have like blushes and lipsticks, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to check them out, I will drop the websites for the two women that I work with in Color Street. They've always been great to me. I'm sure if you decide that you want to become a client with them, that they will send you all of their tips and tricks and bring you on into their community and make sure that you are taken care of. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you found this helpful and I would love to know if there's something that you are using for your nails that doesn't weaken them, where they feel as good the 10th time that you've used it as it did the first, drop it below. I'd love to check out some new things as well. So as always, thanks for being here and we'll see you next week.